What's up, everybody? It is Carlos or Oculus 410 if you're in Horizon Worlds. Thanks for coming back to my channel. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Make sure if you haven't yet, click on that like button, share, subscribe, because each one of these videos, I'm going to be doing three scores. One's going to be on the content. If there's grabbables, if there's interactive things, animations, things to kind of keep you engaged. Second, it's going to be build quality. Yes, build quality, I know. So if you have problems snapping, if there's things that are kind of fighting for space, that Z ripping or phasing as I like to call it. And then finally, overall, just the overall score. Cause not everything's gonna fit like a cookie cutter into specific things. So I wanna be able to give people honest feedback on just how I like their world, what I thought maybe could be improved. And I'm just critiquing just to help people out. And it's not to be negative. I'm not trying to tell anybody that their worlds are terrible. This is from my experience as a tester, collaborating with worlds with amazing creators and my own creations, which they're okay. So the worlds we're gonna visit today are Mark's Riverboat, and we're gonna check out Mark's Sea of Tranquility. That's right. If you're not familiar with Mark, you have to check out his worlds. He's got pretty much a brand. He's got Mark's Worlds, which you can see on his doors. It says Mark's World on sign. And all of his worlds start with Mark's, so easy to find. Just type Mark in your search when you're looking at worlds and you can find all the worlds that he's created. So we're gonna start off with the riverboat because the riverboat is really fun. Let's go ahead and check out our menu. We're gonna go to worlds. All right. Here we go. Okay, so we're here. This is Mark's Riverboat Ride. Welcome to Mark's Riverboat Ride. As you can see, the sign, as I mentioned, Mark's World, kind of his brand. So we're looking at the side of the boat. We're gonna enter. We're not just gonna spawn in the boat, which is really fantastic. Easy to understand where to go. And I can't fall off this bridge. So let's go. Only nearby people can hear you, so that's good. You're not gonna disturb anybody when you first come in. But if you're kind of congregated here, hanging out, that means people nearby can hear you. All right. We're first greeted by this dinner area and we've got some food catering by Flutter. We got cookies, we got a sandwich, and we got some macaroons. Now, as far as content, grabbables, animation, this world definitely has all of it, but it takes it even one step further. You can eat the sandwich, the macaroon, and the cookie. Great job on that flutter. We got some scenery in here, but also outside. And if you haven't noticed yet, the scenery is moving past. It gives the impression that this boat is traveling down this river and you can see certain things loading up like the bridge. We got some trees, mountains, buildings, really, really immersive to make you feel like you're on a boat and you're traveling. This piano has no keys. That's okay. That's a lot of objects, totally understandable. Actually, upon further inspection, the piano is closed. Good uh, good way of reserving your objects by keeping the piano cover closed. Mark Sea of Tranquility, which is where we're going next. And we got some more grabbables. Remember this uh, mug right here. You'll see it again when we get to Sea of Tranquility, or at least something similar. It looks like we can grab pretty much uh, everything that we see. Let's go up to the next level. We do have kind of an observation and we can hang out at the back of the boat. So what's the point of having this middle deck? The whole point of having these spaces is so that way, if you do have a large group, you can kind of go somewhere for some privacy, observe all of the things. We'll get to the bridge last. I want to go upstairs. Those stars look incredible. They look like they're twinkling. It's, it's really just, it doesn't get any better. The entire sky is covered with stars and they don't look like they're placed in the exact same order. It really looks like they're not repeating. I mean, if you look hard enough, I'm sure you'll find where they repeat, but that's not the point. Everything in this world, it's just what you expect from Mark. He really puts a lot of effort into all of the scenery, all of the interactive things, and just the build of it all. And you can find the repeating pattern on the floor here to make it look like carpet. We've got a hot tub. See a couple of bubbles coming out of one end. And the closer you get, or if you jump in, you actually feel like you're in a hot tub. There's a blimp over top. So even though there are some things in here that are on a specific timer of when they happen, 
they don't feel as though they're on a schedule. It feels random. The bridge, of course, that's the most noticeable thing. You're going to see that a few times. That's kind of all a part of being on a boat. You're going to go under bridges. All right, speaking of bridge, we're going to go down to the bridge. That's the last part of our riverboat review. This is where we have some of the doors. Oh, I hear some fireworks. Perfect time to be on the bridge. And that's what I mean about the world not feeling like it's scheduled, it's random. You see the blimp going over, you see the fireworks, you see the bridges coming every now and again. It really feels like you're on a very relaxing riverboat and you're not just seeing the same repeating objects. Of all these buttons, the green button is the one that I want the most. So we're gonna come up here and we're gonna hit this button. Yep, even has a horn, you can blow that fog horn bonus we have this teleport here that will take you above to see kind of a bird's eye view of everything going on so let's go ahead in okay this is the world default which pretty sure it's nearby so we can see the moon there's a little haze going over the mountains. We've got these gorgeous stars and there's even instructions stand here to return to the boat now that we're up here you can see the boat's not actually moving. The trails are just kind of giving the impression that the boat's moving. But when we look at the front, as you get higher up, everything is moving. The water isn't, the boat isn't. Things are just coming at you from afar and they're just outside of your visibility. So that way you can kind of see them loading in in the distance. And then he gives this impression of depth by bringing those objects a little closer together at the end. So we're gonna go back onto the boat and we're gonna say our goodbyes to the riverboat the best way I know possible. I'm the king of the world. Let's head on over to the Sea of Tranquility. Here we go. Okay, we've entered Mark's Sea of Tranquility. We are greeted with another special thanks to Sandwich for his artwork, scripting, consultation. And behind here we have a little hub of worlds designed by Sandwich. And of course, Mark's worlds. All right, so let's explore the Sea of Tranquility. So the first thing I don't see is the sea, but that's okay because we spawned in right here by the patio, which overlooks the sea. Again, we see the star pattern. We do have the moon. We've got a red planet. But the star pattern doesn't look the same as in the riverboat, which is great. So the first thing that's drawing me in is the center, which has these crystals. All these crystals are grouped together. And they're done so to where they're not overlapping in the point where they're fighting for space. And it looks really good. And then we've got all these trees. We've got these rings, which looks like we can parkour on them. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go explore a little bit. Now, some of Mark's worlds are very, very large. And the one thing that he did with his more recent worlds, he's created some teleports. And it's really creative the way that he did it. Over here, we have this flying platform transport. And if it's not here, we can hit the button to bring it back. So we're going to take the transport and we're going to go to River Valley. Another great thing about these flying platforms, you get the bird's eye view of everything. So we can see the satellite, the little spaceships coming around. There's the center with the crystals. Over here, we've got more spaceships. One of the doors is open. And where it's taking us now, whoa. Where it's taking us now, River Valley, looks like there's a waterfall. And there's more teleports. Helps you get around, makes things less exhausting. That way when you walk, you can actually walk to places that make you want to go to them, like this waterfall and that cave over there. Nothing like having a large world with teleports to help you get around, to just make it easier to get between places and see everything there is to see. So with waterfalls, you can never win. It's either there's definitely something hidden behind there because who doesn't love playing Legend of Zelda? and behind every waterfall is a secret, right? But then on the other hand, if I were to run into this waterfall and nothing was there, I would say, what the heck? There's nothing behind this waterfall. It's a lose-lose. 
So let's just find out which it is. Is there something behind it, or is it a dead end? It's both. All right. Look at that. So on top of going into the waterfall, there's still a trigger here, so you have to enter into the waterfall in order to see this little Easter egg. And we've got mugs with gravity. Mark, you're amazing. So we've got some... Uh, extraterrestrial life here that's playing piano funny enough in the last world I said something about the piano and here we are we have one and in this world we've got the mugs and this guy is serving us up thanks for the drink I'm gonna take this one to go adios look at all the places that we can go patio which was where we started the world's hub I showed you underneath the patio the cave which I think is over there Starship landing we saw when we went on the teleport and the home base where we spawned in So instead of taking that walk, I'm gonna go into the cave. We're gonna go up here and see what's up top Keep to the left you got it All right, so now we're up top. We're on the other side of this sea. There's where we started. Oh Hi there. Oh I don't think he liked me being here. Okay. Doesn't look like I can go any further. They can go out on the water. Looks like a long walk. So let's see what we got here since there's another button. Oh. Maybe it's a satellite? Nope. Satellite's gone. Hey, there we go. Off in the distance. We're saved. I guess I could take one of the teleporters and I could just teleport over there. I really like how he has... Oh transport in route so it lets you know that there is something coming to help you since you push the button and you're not staring at the yellow button very cool room for 20 maybe i don't know uh, so i think this is the cave so we're gonna go back to home base the next place i'm gonna go is back to the center where the crystals are we're gonna see if that little spaceship comes to greet us which it looks like it's over there so we might not make it in time Ooh. this thing's booking very nice the scenery is just gorgeous. Like, even with just primitive shapes, circles, triangles, pyramids. Really nice how he put it together. Alright, this is where we get out. Okay, so we're going to head back over to the crystals. Looks like there's a spaceship coming. Oh, I just noticed something. Did you see it? This pink thing here is flying around. Very cool. Whoa. Really does just make things more immersive. You've got things flying around. You've got ways to travel. You've got scenery, you've got things in the distance, and everything is purposeful. I mean, there's nothing here that's wasted. And somehow, he was able to stay within capacity with all of these things. It's, it's really incredible. All right, so we're gonna head back to the personal space. That way we can give both of these worlds a rating. Oh, wow. Check this out. It's like we're in the eye of the storm. It really feels like I'm in the center here. I can hear the sounds going all around me. There it goes. You know, that same element that I talked about, how things are on a schedule, but they feel random. It's just executed to perfection. All right, so back to our personal space. Let's give our three ratings. Content, build quality, and overall. Let's go. And we're back. That was a fun ride on the riverboat. Very tranquil in the Sea of Tranquility. So I got to give them the ratings. So first off, the riverboat. As far as content, over the top. You've got grabbables. You've got things you can eat. You've got pretty much all kind of animations going on. The riverboat feels like you're really in the riverboat going down the river. Even though it's standing still. Amazing job. We're going to give that a 9. I know it's not a 10. But like I said, I still need to be blown away. This is only episode 2 after all. So nine on the content. Great job. Next up, we've got the build quality. Mark really does go above and beyond on that as well. He really gets every piece purposeful. It's snapped in. It's clean. Nothing's fighting. If you looked at the carpet, you saw that there were designs that were repeating. You look at the stars. Everything looked like they were actually there. Riverboats aren't square. And if you've built in Horizon, 
a lot of those round edges are not easy to capture and you can kind of go through them because they're not restricting you so he even figured that out too you could stand at the edge of the riverboat without falling off and you can even go way up high you can see everything going on so for that world it's getting a nine star as well it's one of my favorites great job mark i hope to see so much more content out of you i've yet to see you slow down so keep up the good work now mark's sea of tranquility that world is definitely a progression of all the things that he's learned through all the worlds that he's built content it's loaded with it the platforms to travel all of the things you can interact with everything has such great purpose things are there to make you really want to dive in and just go and explore i'm gonna go nine stars still just because like i said there's a lot that's there but there's still so much more that Horizon is building, and I want to reserve those 10 stars for that. So maybe it will be more. But for this one, we're going to give it a 9. Next up, build quality. Flawless. I really can't not give it a 10. I mean, it's build quality, right? Great job. Everything looks so good. Satellites look like satellites as soon as I looked. Even your extraterrestrials. Like, I had to laugh the second that I, I saw them because I re immediately got these, like, flashbacks to what people thought extraterrestrials looked like. And you, you really paid homage to those, so great job. And we've seen hundreds of different styles of those. But you really captured a really great, great model of them using the shapes that were available. So, 10 stars for the build quality. Overall, the riverboat gets a 9 stars so does the sea of tranquility because you get the same experience from mark's worlds over and over again that are so fun they're great to visit take people and hang out or just hang out by yourself and just explore so you can find those worlds in the world's tours so make sure you check out every wednesday 8 30 5 30 pacific horizon world tours and the world if you want to go outside of the event is new horizon world tours so that wraps up this video what do you think of my scoring of mark's worlds have you been there do you plan on going leave all that down in the comments below i'd love to hear your feedback i want to hear more from you as far as the scoring do you think i was unfair do you think maybe i went a little too high because i really enjoy these worlds let me know down in the comments and of course suggest worlds that i should check out next now i'll tell you one thing I already know the worlds I'm going to next, so see if you can guess. Leave them down in the comments section, and of course, like, share, subscribe, and I love to read each and every one of your comments, so keep them coming. I'm Carlos, or Oculos410. Thank you for checking out my channel, Just Ask Carlos. I'm going to have more of these episodes coming. They're a lot of fun to do, and I love sharing Horizon Worlds with each of you. So keep watching, keep liking, sharing, and I will definitely see you all in the next one.